Alrighty, and I'm back. Uh, I don't know if it was equipped. It was in the inventory for... Um, uh, for the stuff I got for finishing the mission. Um, let's see, real quick, let's quick save. And then we can load an auto battle. Okay, they don't have one. Interesting. Nothing in their craft. So how did we generate one? Ah. That makes sense. That's how the script works, right? Alrighty. I think we already read this last time, right? <laughs> Ominous charge. Oh, that's right, we didn't because I hadn't researched it yet. Alzon, what's going on? How are you doing today? And Magics with the Prime Gaming sub. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? Seven months. Thank you so much. Power 999. And damage type unknown. It's flat damage, of course. Blast radius 14. Armor effectiveness 70%. Uh, yeah. yeah. Set on fire and smoke thresholds 9,000. 9,001 would have been hilarious. Well, I'm glad to have you, Magix. And I'm glad you've been doing good. <laughs> Alzan, thank you so much. Uh, it's quite an amazing world. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty good other stuff. Clip size one. Let's go ahead and read this. Um, upon further examination, we concluded that this weapon simply cannot even exist. It fires nothing other than a singularity charge, which briefly creates a miniature black hole on impact. Effects are truly cata cataclysmic. Simply nobody and nothing can survive a blast of this magnitude. Origins of this weapon are a complete mystery. UAC denies any involvement... And judging by their reactions, it's indeed an unseen technology. But we should dispose of this weapon as soon as this conflict will be over. Humanity is simply not ready to possess this kind of power. I'm ready because I can be trusted and not abuse such power. Because I don't abuse powerful things. So I can be trusted with this. I'll keep it. You never know, there might be uh, problems in the future that arise. Totally not an evil genius. 
<clears throat> oh, okay. There's the ominous charge. Combustible lemons are done. Uh, I'm sure there's probably something that needs to be built. Okay. I'll check it out in just a moment. Ominous charge. Singularity charge for the Singularity Cannon, for lack of a better name, contains unknown energy and provides enough power for a single devastating shot, creating a temporary black hole on battlefield. After the power is exhausted, there's nothing we can do to reload it in battle, but over time the charge seems to siphon an enormous amount of power from unknown sources and regains the power by next deployment. Gotcha. Awesome. Alright, thermite grenades are done. Oh. I might have needed to make... Sonic Oscillator Cannons. Okay. Can I just make them here? Actually, hold on. I have 19 Sonic Oscillators somewhere. Holy cow. Right, not there. Santa cannons. They go very fast. Oh, multi launcher ammo as well. Sweet. Okay, here are two of them at Pineapple. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Oh. Probably start my timer. Well, that was quick. rocket launcher. The lack of torpedo launcher equivalent on surface deployments made us consider instead purchasing conventional rocket launchers from various suppliers. UAC rocket launcher seems like a decent choice. Compact enough, moderately heavy, and accurate. Even though the price for them is somewhat high, it will still keep providing us, or it will still keep providing us with advantage on surface missions. Uh, we'll find out. UAC rocket launcher, 1.5 mil. We'll grab one. <laughs> it's all good, man. 
Right. Oh, we got sharks. Oh, I see. And I guess I can bring more cannons. We'll be switching to some ion stuff shortly. What? Wait a second. Didn't I figure out last time that the equipped sonic oscillators are, like, this is from the ships as well? Yeah, darn it. Oh, there's an ion weapon for the craft as well. <clears throat> well, clearly, she's going to be the pilot. They might. Uh, I guess we'll never know.
Okay. Took a little bit of a beating. So did he. Overstun? <laughs> Whoa! Alright. And that's interesting because we don't do any stun damage. And it's considered Sonic Beam. Fascinating. Got him. Well, sir. Got some Zerbite. Well, look at this. We're getting melee training. Okay. Why not? <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Wow, we haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Thousand nine aquaplastics? Oh shoot. Uh I think it was Pacific Rim that's uh holding everything. And building. Did it ever Ah, <laughs> uh, who knows? a little bit of space. I know. I can make a bunch of thermites. Quite a few EMP. Not too many of these, though. <laughs> there we go. I think we can out... Yes! No more supplies for you.
UAC Rocket Pack. UAC Rocket Launcher loads medium-sized rockets instead of larger warheads. It actually can load a clip of five missiles at once, which is a major improvement over the launchers used in First Alien War, or even our torpedo launchers. Though there's naturally a power loss due to smaller warheads, ability to fire multiple missiles will prove invaluable. <laughs> yes, sir. 75 high explosive damage. Blast radius 4. That, that's pretty good for, you know, kind of a smaller rocket. Deployable sonar device. Ooh, two snapshots? That's reaction fire. A small device was invented to reduce our reliance on drones for scouting. The device acts like a grenade, and once primed and thrown, will emit a small sonar pulse on battlefield to scan surroundings and detect targets behind obstacles. The device stays active for two turns and then deactivates completely. It, also, it has also access to particle disturbance sensor but needs small amount of time to power it up, usable only underwater. Wow, that's really cool. Well, that is super cool. That's gonna really help our MC focusers. <laughs> I'm not gonna combine items at all. Nice, that's really cool. UAC Guided Rocket. <laughs> hey, I have a quick mind. What can I say? I, I think of stuff quickly. <laughs> Discovery of smart projectiles and guided torpedoes brought our attention back to UAC Rocket Launcher again. And indeed, our suppliers have some guided missiles in stock though they will prove to be definitely much more expensive and less effective ammo-wise. In fact, this missile can only be loaded one per time and will produce smaller blast radius, as well as lower potential damage. So, uh, slightly lower blast radius, more damage, but only clip size of one. Um, and only four waypoints, but that's better than just one waypoint. Hey! And we got a UAC rocket launcher. Or no, I bought that. Never mind. Oh, flat damage. I didn't catch that. Okay. I've got more stuff to get rid of and all that. Um, I think Rim 2. Excellent.
Okay. Been wasting time here. some more advanced med kits. Uh, let's do 10. Okay. That's fine. Or one super med kit? Oh, that's what, right. We can do that, can't we? Gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose we can make one or two of these. Downed UFO crash site detected. Time to put these punks back in their place. Oh, shoot. Mind worms, you say. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to deal with this. I was thinking it was just stupid. Um, get that melee in, boy. Uh, I was thinking it was nothing but those whatchamacallits. <laughs> yes. Look at me. I'm the mind worm now. Ah, uh, those stupid possessed soldiers or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very, uh, very minimal requirements for that one. Oh, this is all screwed up. Oh, where's that from? Oh, is it really? That figures. Gotcha. Oh, we couldn't stop it. Oh, nice. Bombardment shield. The pressure bombardment shield protects the base from alien submersibles docking and sets up a resonating field that repulses attacking subs long enough for defense systems to fire repeatedly. Or one more time. In effect, this doubles the effectiveness of any defense system already deployed. Requires two ion beam accelerators. Ion beam disruptor. Mm 
What the? Devil's Reef is probably missing two ion beam accelerators. Two for you, and two for you. Everybody gets two ion beam accelerators. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, maybe except for, like, these guys. still used in the MC lab. Yeah. Although, <laughs> it's kind of almost a waste at this point. And one for Zweistein. There we go. What the... Two for you. No, God. Okay. Yes. This won't be an ominous mission. Guess I can give Enforcer some stuff. Not that he's really going to do anything. <laughs> Actually, they seem to be doing fine with this not having two free hands, which is really weird. Good reference. <laughs> eh, that's fine, whatever. We're still gonna destroy with it. Wow, I'm actually short, jeez. By one. What the? No, we don't need to change it. Do wait, wait till I'm done, and then we can nerf it just a little bit. But to be honest, though. 
It's been a lot of fun. No ammunition loaded. That's the version I'm playing. Uh, if you already did nerf it, it doesn't need any more nerfing. It's already been balanced, as all things should be. Hmm, nice. That's a pretty good choice. <laughs> Curse you, Perry the Platypus. Nice. I think I had to equip more lemons as well, and I forgot to do that. Alright, I think we're good. Sixty time units. Ooh, that's cutting it close. <laughs> uh, and blast radius was fourteen, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So anywhere past this and we're safe. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, I tried to run him away. Maybe I should have just ran him to this corner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Sir, I'm very sorry. I don't think you're gonna survive this. I got aliens to kill. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
maybe the shore. What about it? I mean, the shore would survive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. But he, I don't even think he could make it out the door. And I had him run, too. of instant replay did the graphics and stuff and sound play <laughs> cool I, I can't hear it it only plays for you guys how was that by the way that's what I worked on this morning that made me so late um in all honesty, it played a whole lot better in my head. Crazy Nut, what's going on, man? How are you doing today? It was worth it? Alright, cool. Now, I'm talking about the instant replay my voice, and then the effect. Okay, cool. The effect I found on YouTube, so I can't take credit for that, but I did make the audio. Um, I, I think, like, Blitz or something way back in the day had a really cool, like, announcer effect for instant replay. Uh, unfortunately, I just I couldn't get what I wanted. Oh, five month backup. Ouch. Clay, sure, what's going on, man? <laughs> oh, Addicts, it's just mod. Or mods. I think it's mods. There we go. And actually, I need to update that because I'm on 2.49. most part, things are fine. But, um... Yeah. Oops. Oh, Askiri's blocking you from coming out. That's why you can't. I don't think so. Oh, 
Dang. Wow, impressive. Survived. These guys are like, I'm gonna go swimming in this frozen water. These guys are crazy. And all my, all my people are just constantly repeating, that's XCOM, baby. That's XCOM, baby. <laughs> just run around everywhere. That's XCOM, baby. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yes. I don't know how they developed the technology, but they're nuking us now. <laughs> and what does this button do? How did you miss all those? Every pellet missed. <laughs> oh, drop it. Uh oh. Hydra Major, what's going on? Hovum, what's going on, man? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do believe we are winning. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Uh, come straight out. I don't think we're going to have an angle. For name shot. Even these walls are in our way, guys. That's how terrible of a shot it is. Uh, well, great, great to have you, Crazy Nut. Uh. If you don't mind a very difficult start, this mod is pretty good. And then, um, if you haven't yet, I would strongly suggest, well, if Zero Fox would allow it, um, using some of his mods as well. 28, 56. But, I mean, overall, even without Zero Fox's modding, uh, this mod's been pretty good. Jeez. Okay. Fifty. There we go, finally. Yeah, that is one kind of catch there is. You don't have to do every mission. But the one big difference that seemed to make a difference is expanding your bases. I shot uh, immediately. Yeah, yeah, this music is quite nice. I've been sleeping since the start of the stream. Uh, it's it's my deep voice too, that 
that uh, deep monotone sound. Yeah, UFO and Terror on uh, Open XCOM. Open XCOM is just revolutionary. And it's just... I don't know. It, it turned classic games into games that could easily compete with modern AAA games. Like, for me, personally, it's just... It's ridiculous how fun Open XCOM made these games and the mods. Had a heavy lunch today. I kind of had a heavy breakfast, to be honest, so we'll see how I feel later. Nice try, Tank. Battlefleet Gothic. <laughs> I don't think we've heard that one before. I don't think I have. Got him. But that is Warhammer, correct? Oh, nice. I didn't realize that was GTA. <sighs> nice. Yeah, I never did play the tabletop either. Got him. Uh, no, he is flashing because he has a shield. Oh, shoot. That was close. Good old 99%. Yeah, I watched uh, some of the videos for that. It looks like it could be pretty decent. So I'm going to try to reserve judgment, but... Like you said, XCOM doesn't need more RNG. The, the cool thing is, it looks like most attacks, if not all, hit. So as long as you have the ability to attack, I think you'll hit. At least that's what it kind of looks like to me. <laughs> right? Okay, Hydra Major. I, I know I've heard of it. I, have you been playing it? Yes, Crazy Nut. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, they've they've turned the games into just I don't know, just really really good games. They, better games, I should say. They were already really good. Oh, there we go. Oh, really? Okay. It's interesting, it's a bit of a roguelike. Roguelite. Yeah. I mean, dipping into <laughs> vanilla every once in a while can be nice. Especially if maybe someday I want to get back into speedrunning. 
Uh, that's something called mind worms. It's just a big mass of worms. Oh, is it? Nice. There he is. Let's run over this way. Um, your gun's going to be a little bit too big for this. Or not? I don't think we have an angle. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah. Oh, they're making racing sims? Interesting. <laughs> you can never have too much overkill. Almost suspicious? Hmm. Interesting. Don't think we have this angle. Right. Oh, that's such a tight, tight angle. I think that might have it. Oh boy. Okay. Nice shot. Whoa, what? Is that, like, is it, is the game called Mech Engineer? That sounds really awesome. Yeah, please. Yeah, if you guys hadn't noticed, I am a little bit of a fan of, like, auto games. Wow. Imprecisely. Hey, this is pretty good for nuke in a small town. Well, it's been a while since I last played it, and I played it on stream, but they've done a fair amount of work since I played it. So, Crazy Knight, I definitely recommend checking them out. Check out their Discord as well, and um, they can use all the support they can get. Thanks, Hydra Major. <laughs> cool. We succeeded. Alright, that dissection's done. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> they knew our dark secret. 
Probably. Wow. I was off by a microsecond. Chum bucket and cold tub. Oh yeah, stage one. Yeah. That's actually a good point. Maybe maybe on the next stream for this game, uh, we'll do a colony run. Nice crazy nut. I think... Actually, I definitely played it on the PlayStation first, and then I found out it was on the PC, and I bought it and had a heck of a time getting it to work. It, it, it actually, I actually returned my first copy because I thought the CD was bad or something, and then the second copy still messed up as well. It wouldn't play. But I figured out a way to get it to work or something, and it was fine after that. Interestingly enough, I found out that if you copied the CD onto the hard drive, the game ran super fast. I was like, alright, that's cool. Alright. Yeah, I don't think anything was wrong with the first CD. It just... I don't know. Computers were so new back then that they didn't they weren't very efficient and didn't work very well. I followed the instructions every time. And my computer was more than good enough to play the game. Yeah. Devil's Reef and Alien Destroyers. Oh, that is weird, Zero Fox. But back then, sound actually was a little bit of an intensive resource. I remember some games on our original computers, you had to, like, turn the sound off in the game, and the game ran so much more smoothly. <laughs> nice, Zero Fox. Oh, do I remember sound cards? Yeah. I remember buying one on eBay, winning um, winning a, a bid for... I think it was a Sound Blaster AWE64. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it was. And I remember winning it. I was like... 17 or 18. My dad got so mad. Well, he didn't get mad, but he, he got a little mad. And then, um... I think I had a different sound card before that as well. I actually have a sound card in my old PC that my son has now.
Yeah, Lord Polish, that's how it used to be, man. Yeah. Oh, crazy stuff. Ooh, excuse me. Gravis ultrasound. I never had one, but I remember that being like top of the line. <laughs> and I was like, but I don't have that. I only have Sound Blaster. Stop. <laughs> Ooh, 15 and a half mil. We need to calm that down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And I remember, depending on the video card or sound card you had, would affect how the MIDI music sounded. <laughs> Was it addicts? Hello, sir. Uh, oh, crap. I still need to make sonic oscillators for this. <laughs> uh, actually, let's send number two. Bullcrumb, what's going on? How are you doing? How goes the insanity? It's going much better today. Uh, <laughs> we, we got some new tech, some new ships, and I don't care if I jinx it because it's XCOM, but we're almost in easy mode right now. Yeah, it's still not done, dude. I mean... Yeah, it's still taking its time. But, hold on. Let's quick save. We're on December 9th. We... <laughs> I've been streaming for 2 hours and 23 minutes. Subtract 10 of that for the intro. We've gone six days in game. That's it. Two and a half hours almost. Two and a quarter. We've gone six days. Oh, what game is that, Fulcrum? <laughs> a lot has happened. We've killed a lot. Sword of the Stars. <sighs> Do I have that? That sounds familiar. I'll have to check. Um, but that sounds very familiar. Uh, but actually, guys, it's time for me to take a short break. I think I'm going to go refill my water real quick, so give me just a couple minutes and I'll be right back. <laughs> 